What's going on, everybody? Welcome back in to Chandler County. So what we're looking at right here is the state of the city at the end of the very first episode. Very first episode. This is where things are at. Uh, we had built up a small town. It wasn't very big, but it was the beginnings of something. But I made a couple changes. I made, made a couple of changes. Let me know what you think. Oh, you're not losing your minds. I've redesigned the town already. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Longtime viewers of my channel will know that I am a big, big fan of constantly remodeling things and going through and changing stuff up. Um, so a lot of this just came down to personal preference on... I just really wasn't liking the initial road layout. It just... Uh, I, I didn't really have a good vision going forward for how I wanted the city to look and I was just kind of I was kind of winging it so I looked around at uh, cities within the region that I live in and everything and I came across this town that really had a layout that I really liked it had a high it had like a, a major like uh, collector kind of highway arterial highway running uh, through the town and the town kind of built off of that and then it goes immediately into a town square. And I really, really liked the way it looked and everything. I liked the idea of it. So I sort of emulated that in a way. Now, we did a lot of this over on Twitch. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Takarazuka is where I do a lot of streaming and everything throughout the week. And we messed with this for a little while the other day. And then I kind of ended up tearing out everything we did on Twitch and remodeled the entire thing from scratch. Now, the reason I decided to do that was because uh, one of my viewers noticed that pretty much my entire grid was was a mess. Um, well, at least all of my the way that everything was lining up, it was very chopped up and it just wasn't laying out very well. And I I decided that I couldn't handle that anymore. So I basically just used move it selected the entire city and deleted it and i rebuilt it from scratch now one of the uh, downsides of doing that was i did lose our lovely four lane road right here i don't have access to that i don't unlock the four lane the four lanes until six thousand population so i did have to go back and just use a regular two lane which is not ideal but hopefully we'll, we will be able to get over to that uh, fairly soon so we can uh, go ahead and get back to our better highways. So I've been kind of letting it run for a little while, just letting the game catch back up with itself. And we're kind of back roughly to where we were at I before, I believe. I did, during the stream, actually hit 1,700 population. You can see how much population we have lost. I, I lost a lot of population. So we unlocked a few different things, such as fire and police and districts and things like that. So uh, we did go ahead and get ourselves a police station put down. It's right here. Get this sun over here so we can take a look at it better. So we got a little police station down here, a little light detailing on it with a parking lot and some mulch and just a few, just a few simple props. Uh, our fire station, I did get down right over here and it has moved and we got again, some parking. I've lost my trees back behind there. I got to fix my trees. I had some, had some nice trees back there. Don't know where they went. I have problems with trees disappearing on me. Oh, that is, that's way too big. That's also way too big. That's better. Some nice little trees back there. So we got a little parking lot with him. And that's about it. I did delete the church uh, that we had built. Uh, I do plan on getting that back in sometime soon. I think, though, I'm going to wait and get the... Uh, let's see, where is it? Oh, we already do have it. <laughs> Excuse me. Actually, yeah, let's go ahead and put this in. This is the one I really want, is the Old North Church. These little churches are better for, like, neighborhoods and stuff, I think. Uh, I really like that. Oh, actually, that New England church is kind of nice. Take a look and see how that thing looks. Actually, I do like that. I can change the trees on it. Yeah, let's use him. Okay, so I don't want him on the highway. Actually, wouldn't mind having him like.
I could put him on the highway. It wouldn't kill anything. Yeah, let's just... Actually, we'll set him off the highway, similar to how we did the other one. It's like that. And let's use Bob right here to uh, fix up these trees on it. Let's see. I just do my generic trees. Like my big generic trees. Gums don't look bad. I think that right there will work. Let's go for those, and then I do want to change those little bushes out for something um, a little bit nicer. Let's hide the vanilla stuff. I don't, I don't want the vanilla stuff. That'll do. There. Much nicer looking. Uh, it does need a parking lot. Come over here. We need to fix some of our terrain issues before we put that parking lot in. And I have just been using the little 4x4. The little, well, the 4x4. The, uh, the ploppable parking lot for right now. It, it, you know, as much as I do like my parking lot assets, like the parking lot roads and the big parking lots and stuff, uh, on occasion, you don't need that. You just need something simple. I'm going to take that out. Let's uh, go ahead and fence this in. I love my fences. That's kind of what I was afraid of. Solodyne's fences don't, uh, they're not terrain conforming, so it does kind of create some issues like that. Terrain conforming? Yeah, these do somewhat conform to, to the terrain, so I think these will be what we go for. I came to right there. to get that same amount of space right there. there go. I already like this church a lot better than the uh, than the other one we did, so I'm much happier with this decision to place this church right here. It just looks a lot nicer. Alright, just needs a, a little bit of some stuff in the back. trees. No, you know what? These are here. A couple of those guys in the back. Good. Anything else on it? I think so. Some, uh, some tables in the back. Oh. 
they're floating a little bit because the terrain goes downhill, but you know, from far away, you really won't notice it that, notice it that much. Hey, I don't want the buildings, please. Let's just set all those right there to terrain height. There we go. Perfect. Hey, there we go. I like that. Very, very nice church right there. So, first church in the city. Lovely. Now, we do have districts unlocked. So, I want to um, get our first districts going right here. I do have some district themes set out and prepared for this already. So we're going to use those to get started. All right, cool. And I changed my mind. I'm not going to go right to there with it. We're going to leave it up over here. right in there okay so this is going to be let's see courthouse this is a courthouse square so this is the courthouse square also known as downtown we are going to change that theme right there to American Main Street I'm gonna go through and delete some of this stuff that doesn't belong on Main Street. And let it rebuild some of this stuff right there. It does come over to there, so I want to take this kind of stuff right here out. That'll do. Okay, now we just gotta... It, it'll uh, rebuild over time. You don't belong here. You don't belong here. You do, you're just in a bad spot. Alright, lovely. So, that's going to... Uh, that, that, that theme right there, we'll take a look at it real quick, is... Let's see. It's mostly all... Yeah, it's mostly all right here. It's things like these, like, like you know, like these little typical stuff. These little long buildings with a storefront on them. I've got a bunch of them selected. I don't know where they're all at, of course. Oh, yeah, like here we go. Wall to wall. The wall to wall. That's the word I was looking for. Wall to wall commercial. Things like that. That, that kind of stuff is selected to go into these areas right here. So we've got some nice ones. I probably need to go through and see if I've downloaded any more and add those into the mix. Uh, actually, industrial shops don't go there. That's not what I'm looking for. Inner city corner. There we go. And then all these lovely Main Street buildings. Love all these Main Street buildings. All right. So as that grows, it will look exactly like how I'm wanting it to. So next to this, we're also going to set a new district right here. I'm going to encompass these areas. I'm going to encompass this residential area back here. And this is going to be called... We call Commodore Heights. Commodore is one of my longtime uh, channel members and everything. So big thank you to him. Enjoy your lovely area. So this is going to be a, the American Classic. This is going to be a particular building type. So this will change around eventually to some different types of houses. Also going to do the American Classic up here in this region of town. All right, we have the uh, Gilead neighborhood. Again, Gilead is another one of our longtime viewers around here. So big thank you to Gilead, even though he doesn't watch City Skylines because he thinks it looks like garbage. But it's okay, he can be wrong. But we're also going to set that to American Classic as well. So there's a, uh, a couple of districts. Uh, I do plan on adding more later, but just a couple to get us started right here. 
So we have a massive demand for uh, residential. So let's go ahead and get some of that taken care of. I do want to kind of start breaking away from the grid a little bit, but we're going to uh, move on over to this side of the map right here, I think now. Oh, one other thing. I did move our landfill over here and added in a recycling center. And we've moved our water tower up here onto this uh, hill. Water towers typically are on hills because the gravity situation, you know, and that's how water towers work is by gravity. So I decided to move him up there uh, just for a bit more realism. All right, get the water going. Drag that one over as well. Get this up and running here. Now, I'm not done with this right here. I know some of you are probably like, oh, that looks terrible. Don't worry, I'm not done with this. I, uh, I'm i playing around with different ideas and stuff like uh, in my head on how I want this to look. It's uh, kind of weird. Harsh prison sentences? That's odd. Okay. I don't know what that means. I don't know why that's even selected. I can't even use it. That's weird. All right, let's uh, let's extend Commodore Heights over. I want it to encompass these houses and stuff right here. I want you to encompass that Commodore Heights. There we go. We're not going to be using any policies right now. There's only a few, and I don't really want to do those at the moment. Um, uh, actually, no, I take that back. I think I would like a citywide for Parks and Recreation. Yeah, I do want a citywide for Parks and Rec. I do have a few parks put in. I know some people have been begging for me to put in parks. So we've got a, a little dog park right over here. Looks beautiful. Oh, uh, pay no attention to the... No, pay no attention to that. Leftover stuff. Leftover things. So yeah, we have a little dog park right here. I like it. And then we have a larger park somewhere. Did I put that thing? Oh god, I lost it. Oh, there it is. We have a pretty, a, a much larger park right there on the highway, which I, I'm, granted, I probably should move that off of the highway because eventually I'm going to want this to be commercial, but for right now, uh, it's an okay place for it. So I'll leave him there just for the time being. The city will expand and will likely, uh, you know, reclaim that parkland and then set up a new park somewhere else later on. Cities tend to do those things quite often. All right, I want to bring the roads on up here. Set up some more residential there and there. Cool. I do have a lot of work to do on things like all of these roads. I, I need to go through and redo all of these intersections right here um and just to kind of just show you how that's done i've already done it here a little bit but i can show you like right here so i'm going to go into this node right here i'm going to square up the edges which they're already done and then i want to remove all the road markings because this is actually this is not a street this is actually an alleyway right here so we're going to call this um bannon alley Bannon is a good buddy of mine, uh, one of my moderators over on our Discord server. Uh, so, big thanks to him for all he does. And you get an alleyway, Bannon. Enjoy your alleyway. Sure, that is extended all the way over. So, yeah. So, Bannon gets an alleyway right there. So, we took out all of those road markings with the uh, node controller. So, now I'm going to go back in with the intersection marking tool. And under our crosswalks, I do want crosswalks here and here. And I'm just going to make them solid lines. Uh, this is more of a sidewalk like that I'm kind of used to seeing is, is stuff like this. So we're just going to do that right there. And it's good. 
So I have to go basically do that to all of my different nodes. Uh, it, and that's going to take like an extremely long time, obviously. But I do find a lot of enjoyment, oddly enough, in, in doing this. I don't know why, but I really do. All the parallel lines. And uh, all the parallel lines. There we go. Much nicer, cleaner uh, zebra stripes. Other, you know, not that mess right there. God, that looks so bad. I hate those so much. And one other thing that I definitely need to do that I haven't done yet is fix this. Now, this is obviously a parking lot road. And at the moment, they can drive multiple ways. And as you can see, they're driving all over it. And I don't like that. It's also going the wrong direction, I just realized. So that's a, that's a thing that happened. Let's, let's fix that real quick. Okay, there we go. All fixed now. Uh, yeah, pay attention to where you're laying out your roads. Uh, the only other thing I really need to do real quick is take buildings off, select nodes. And I want to select all of these nodes right here. And I want to align them all to the uh, to the same height. I'm going to put them all up there. Uh, the trucks are kind of floating a little bit. I can fix that too. There we go. All right. Nothing. No more weird sunken cars. Everything's up where it needs to be. Cool. Uh, I, I don't want this as two ways. I want this as a one way. So what we're going to do is take our intersection, uh, not intersection marking tool. We're going to take um, traffic manager. We're going to set all of these roads to where they can only go that way. There we go. Lovely. All right, everybody's going the correct way now. That's good. That's what we were wanting to see. So now I've basically forced this to be a one-way street all the way around, which is how I wanted it. I love my parking. I will tell you guys, this right here, trying to come up with this design for the parking and everything, took me about three and a half hours to come up with this parking. I tried every... <laughs> I tried so many. I even have some really cool parking lot assets that you can see right here. Uh, these like these parking lot things like this. Uh, I just couldn't get it to work right. It just it just was not working right. Plus they're huge, and I didn't want it that big through here. It was I I struggled hard with it, but I finally did get it. So all's well that ends well, and I was very happy to have it finally done. He is in the air a little bit, isn't he? Rain height, and it looks like I've got a little sunken area right in front of him. There we go. Fixes it. Need to fix that bit of wonkiness right there. That way, when I get ready to do my park around it, it will look better. All right, we still have a fairly healthy demand for more uh, residential. So let's think about going um, 
about kind of filling in over here on this edge, I think would be a good one. I'm gonna grab these back out. I really love these. These are the uh, big suburban roads, two lane worn. I, I just like the way that it makes the city look. Gives it a bit of character that you normally wouldn't get. Alright, we're gonna blame that land. Well, okay, I guess we're going I guess we're going diagonal. That's okay. I'm okay with doing the occasional diagonal road. Gives it some character. Reserve some of this space right here for uh, commercial uses. On up here with that. We'll come down there and right there. Yeah, we know that road's going to go on that way, so I will go ahead and drag him out. There we go. Let's take a look at our city vitals right here. So how are we doing on everything? Uh, Electricity is okay. Water sewage is fine. Landfill is slowly starting to fill up. We do have a bit more of a fire hazard. Um, mostly because we only have a single fire station. But I wouldn't feel bad about putting another fire station in. Let's say like... Right there. That thing comes basically... Absolutely. Oh, it's because it's on that kind of road. I was like, huh? We'll at least go there. So it's going to need a little bit of decoration on it. Uh, not much. Actually, could, probably could just use a simple parking lot. A very basic parking lot right there. And then uh, we'll do a uh, privacy uh privacy fence around it. All except angle, please. I kind of like this privacy fence. It, like, perfectly snaps to everything. Although it's backwards. It's completely and totally backwards. Privacy fences go with the, uh... Yeah, they go with the, the, the wood, the wood grain. Well, the, uh... I don't even know what you call it, but it's the part of the it's the part of the privacy fence that you know the the frame, I guess you would say. The frame of it goes to the inside. Yeah, okay. Oh privacy fence around that one right there. And we'll probably just toss in some trees back here real quick. There we go. Just a couple of little trees or something back behind it. Provide a little shade for everyone hanging out there. And I don't know why my grid keeps showing up. It's uh, that's driving me insane, to be honest with you. Feel like it's... Ah, there we go. Move it keeps bringing the grid up. Okay, there we go. So that will help our fire hazard right there. Having a couple of other fire stations. Let's change that fire truck, though. Uh, to maybe large fire truck. I don't know. Something besides that ugly one. I don't like that ugly one. Okay. More resi constantly with the residential demand. To be expected, though. I am playing with the realistic population mod, so just always need way more population than you think you might. We 
ahead and connect up some of our water pipes right here. Make sure they're all nice and connected up. Lovely. And it looks like, you know, our little downtown area is slowly forming. Um, that's not supposed to be there. That's not the kind of building that's supposed to pop up. I probably will plop at least the square. I'm thinking about plopping down at least the square right here. And uh, so, it, so it looks exactly like how I want it to. So it looks exactly like how I want it to look. And I'm starting to think that the city is looking much, much better other than the lighting than the lighting, which is still the bane of my existence. Me and lighting. Ugh, I struggle. I, I've watched, like, every video there is about, you know, make your city look real, make your lighting look realistic, make it all look perfect. We're not supposed to go that way, sir. Um, once I get these down, I'm probably going to change the drop-off. I don't want semi-trucks up through here. I, I want the uh, the drop off point somewhere else. I have to figure out how to make that work better because semi is coming up in here, turning around is hideous. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, probably gonna plop this area down. But yeah, lighting and everything. Yeah, watched every video, Prez's videos, and so many others. I still can't get. I still can't make my game look the way I want it to. I still struggle with it. It looks better than default, but it's still not what I want. Oh, and as you can see, I think some of these houses are being replaced now with some of the ones that I'm wanting, and it's starting to look a lot better. It gets, it's getting rid of a lot of these uh, ugly, some of the ugly trees, and replacing it with much nicer looking trees. I think the last thing I actually want to do, last little build I want to do for today is we're actually going to come over here to this landfill. Now, this landfill is going to stay there. I'm not moving it. Uh, I know some people like to move their landfills around, although I'm going to cheat real quick and move it because he is supposed to be on that on that road. But I'm not going to like kind of cheat and move the landfill around. I, I want to design a neat looking landfill. So we're going to bring him back there. I'm going to grab that road again. want him at least do it that way first yeah. okay I want that there we go that's more like it and then I need to uh, fix the drive here Ah, dang it. Well, that kind of goes all the way on out, doesn't it? Um, wait, where did it? Oh, dang it, I lost it. Yeah, I guess you're Adam's drive now. don't know how to uh you know what fine just rename them all so they're all the same that'll work whoops okay uh, they're all Adams drive now whatever cool. all right so that's the first thing I wanted to do um, let's grab the nodes for all of this and so I need to bring them all up, it looks like. Also grab that, I guess, then. Bring everybody up to that level right there. That just made a uh, hideous little mess, didn't it? Take part of that out. Spread this out some so it will stop glitching around on us. All right, well, everything turned on. Yeah. 
Right, connect him in. I want to take out that bit of the ruined on the front right there. Just connects in like that. And then I do believe... If I don't have them, then I'm, this project's going to have to wait. I don't have them. I thought I downloaded them. Dang it. Uh, there are some really cool trash pile assets. So what I'm planning on doing is making a mound of some trash around it, essentially, and creating our own our own little dump, basically. Uh, we'll move the recycling center up into the uh, into the whole thing. And kind of shuffle it around. Oh, dang it. I was really hoping to be able to do that. Okay, well, scratch that build then. We'll do that. We'll do that next episode, I promise. We'll make a really cool looking landfill. I've made some really cool looking landfills in the past using those mods. So I want to do that again. I won't have to do that. I have to go back and uh, find. I thought I had those assets and I don't. So this is going to be. It'll probably take up a fair chunk of this area. Landfills are huge, landfills are fairly large. Um, so we'll probably do it back here. And I was really hoping to do that, but I don't have the assets right now. Ah, uh, you know what? I can go get the assets. Hold on. All right. We have some garbage assets now. Ah, look at these things. Aren't they beautiful? Oops. There we go. <laughs> Aren't they beautiful? Awesome garbage assets right here from Avanya. These have been around for a very long time. They do make this a lot easier. Uh, I do. I need to get rid of that. That under. This right there? No. Rain? Yeah, show rock sprites. Okay, get rid of those rock sprites. Because uh, this is an ore area right here, but we don't care about that. This is going to be our garbage dump. So let's make a garbage dump. Alright, so here is the start of our landfill area. I'm not going to detail around the outside edge, because 
landfills might need to expand later so i might need to add you know add another area into it but it's a it's a good start i don't really much like that hard transition right there between the landfill and the rest of it but i don't really have anything else that could i don't have anything that color really so i may have to look into maybe doing something different about that uh but for the moment this right here will work we got our uh a recycling center up over here, some, some odd and end props, just mountains of trash everywhere. It's it's kind of funny. Eventually, we know we will, of course, have things like the incinerator, wherever that's at. That's the waste transfer, the waste transfer complex. I mean, this this place is going to this place will expand and grow and have a lot more stuff going on with it later on. But for the moment, you know, it's just a dumping site over here off in the middle of uh, nowhere. There's a couple of props you probably saw me kind of poking around looking for, some things I thought I had, but apparently I don't. Um, and I'm really kind of upset about that. Actually, oh, there's a small garbage, uh, small shed, or small garage, rather. You know what? That would actually look pretty good back here, too. I think, I think we need to put that in somewhere. These places always have all kinds of, like, random little buildings and different stuff that, you know, goes with it. Um, always have lots of small little buildings and everything. Probably would be kind of a good idea to have some of that stuff back here. Go ahead. I'm probably going to need power and water out here as well, so let's go ahead and make that a thing. Slow down for just a second here, because they are going to need power. Get our rural power lines. Uh, actually, I do have these uh, new power lines I've been using, so let's use these instead. Okay. Get you right there. Yeah. You support buildings. We probably think they're like garages and stuff for the, uh, for the, uh, dump the, uh, truck garbage cans and stuff. And then maybe this is like a little. Maybe we can, I don't know, just make up whatever you want, really, for what they are. Just all kinds of random little support buildings for the dump. So, yeah, I think with that, guys, that's going to be it for us today. We come back in the next episode, and we are probably going to start working on our downtown area quite a bit more. Start thinking about plopping in this, uh, the main square right here, and getting it set up the way that we definitely want it. And then, of course, meet that massive, massive, uh, residential demand and get some more people coming in to the city so with that thanks so much for hanging out with me i hope you enjoyed if you did uh please leave me a like and a comment down below if you have not already please subscribe love to have you here and i'll see you in the next episode until then take care